What's good, you guys? It's your girl, Cutie, and I'm back with another video, okay? So, you guys, we're going to go ahead and get right into it, you guys, because I want to talk about where do Cardi and Offset stand right now, you guys. I have been doing a lot of snooping. Y'all know me. I don't care, baby. There's no shame in my game. I'm going to make sure my people got the latest information. So, y'all know I did went and did a little bit of research, and I am here to report it to y'all, okay? Now, y'all, so Offset was on his Instagram Live talking about the internet play too many games and stuff you guys because you know they was using Cardi memes to kind of like play with him and his granny because you know he was up there talking about he missed his granny and of course Cardi B you know did a post and um they used that and changed the caption to I miss my granny so girl it was just a lot of stuff going on okay and he was just basically saying the internet play games and yada 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 okay so he also was telling his fans that he loves him loves them excuse me and then he spoke about him and Quavo's performance okay he said that him and Quavo sat down as a unit and worked out the performance and people were in the comments asking about Cardi they were asking about Cardi and you know he was basically ignoring them like he was like yeah it just was very to me it seemed like you know you could kind of tell he probably misses her a little but it kind of more so seems like he has relief he doesn't seem like he's that stressed you know the first time when the first cheating scandal happened y'all know Offset was following her everywhere you could really see in Offset's face that he missed his wife but it's like this time around like you can tell he kind of missed her but it's more so of him you know talking about his outfits of the day his business and you know just things like that okay now offset just looks like he is fed up and ready to move on okay so he's probably tired of taking care of cardi because y'all know cardi was over there saying out of her home, her own mouth well i want a rich man to take care of me if i if i come up off my man i'm gonna get a rich man and da, 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 da. so you know my thing is even though he probably could possibly tire because tired of taking care of cardi cardi is still his wife okay but she has to work too okay so they live in a mansion those bills probably pile up quickly okay so you know they they have to have a two working person household a household two parents working okay um so y'all according to a source as well you guys i did go on um i believe i forgot where it was i don't know if it was people magazine or what but according to a, a source a close source to cardi and offset this is what was said and i it's and i'm gonna quote it okay it says then this these are not my words it says cardi and offset are just having a little argument they're very intense so they go back and forth quite a bit they'll um hash it out like they always do so for those of you guys who don't know what hash it out means of course it means like they'll work it out okay um but this source you know this close source was basically saying like yeah they they go back and forth a lot you know what i'm saying and like i say people put on a facade Cardi's always on social media before this thing came out. She was always on social media. They're in love. They're always kissing, grinding, humping. But even when she had culture, she always said that they always had a physical uh, connection. Like they always, it was lustful. Okay. And a lot of the time, you know, men see that and they're like, oh, she a freak. I got to marry her. Da, 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 da. She was a stripper. You know, y'all know Cardi was a stripper, but the thing is is that you know that does get old you got to have more than just a physical attraction to a person you got to be able to be intense with the person besides just physical and um you know sexual um attraction you know sexual things it, it has to be more going on for a marriage and a relationship girl especially for a marriage okay so anyway y'all child at this point only time will tell but offset ain't going out like a sucker this time okay but if you want your wife back then you got to go ahead and do the do the right thing okay but it like i said it seemed like he's just not faced on nothing but his career at this moment it seemed like he just trying to focus okay so y'all know i went to cordy's instagram and she was in the studio with wave and culture by herself of course she had like the studio guy with her or whoever was some little guy that was you know doing the I, you know y'all know what the little studio dudes be doing like i guess they be making the beats or whatever right so she had wave and culture in the studio wave probably had on like he was just sitting there he looked like he had on just a shirt and maybe a diaper i couldn't really see but it looked like it was just a regular shirt and a diaper and i couldn't really just see what culture had on um but you know she had the two kids in the studio with her now my thing is this and i don't mean no shade y'all but y'all know i gotta tell how i feel my thing is this now we heard this i'm cardi b and mother effers um forgot who i am and etc cetera, etc cetera. we heard all it all last week okay so if that be the case 
you're Cardi B, I'm this, I moved to woo, rappers trump and I if that be the case, then why didn't you have a nanny to tend to your children? Right? Because it was nighttime when you was in that studio. So it should have been a nanny, in my opinion. It should have been a nanny there. Okay. Because a lot of the time I see that you're like, oh, my cousin has wavy, my cousin. And a lot of time people just don't want random people around their kids. I do understand that as well. But if you're in a household and you're there and you can monitor your kids and you're in the studio, what's wrong with calling the nanny over? Hey, I know it's after hours. I'll pay you extra on your check. I'll give you cash when you come here. Can you please come get wave and culture? Their dad is wherever he's doing, okay? I guess Cardi is not the type of person to just be like, oh, I'm going to focus on where they daddy at. Nah, she don't look like she that type to just be trying to figure out what offset it, okay? So, but my thing is this. You could have had you a nanny or somebody come get the kids because you know them kids, even if they was up, they don't need to be sitting on no studio couch. Or you could have had toys for them. Had the toys up there, upstairs in their rooms, letting them watch their little cocoa meal and this stuff and having somebody monitor them. You could have had a little camera in there, baby. You could have been watching the watching the babysitter watch your children. Okay? So it's more than one way to, to, to skin a cat, like the old folks used to say. All right? So anyway, because if the daddy wasn't able to get them, then surely Cardi B could get a nanny. All right, because it was nighttime. So those kids have should, should have been in bed. Plus, I've never known Cardi to show her whole studio. So sis showed the whole studio as if to say, ha ha, Tasha K, the studios are completely different. But in my opinion, y'all, that studio does look similar to the other one that that alleged side chick was in. But I could be wrong. That's just my opinion. But it did look similar to me. It just didn't have no bed where culture was there. But like I said, she just showed the whole thing. And I've never known uh, Cardi to just show her whole studio anyway. All right. But um, anyways, y'all, her and Offset should have not responded to nothing Tasha K said. Y'all know Tasha K. I love Tasha K. Um, but whether they know it or not, their marital affairs are private. Okay. Um, but Cardi, she so she be so adamant to prove a point to people. Okay. Now her and Offset, I did go on Instagram again, just do a little lurking. Her and Offset are still following each other on social media for now, okay? And Offset is on his story posting random stuff, okay? I know last time he posted, you know, when the, when the first cheating scandal came, he posted how he missed Cardi and et cetera. He was following her around, but not this go round. He's posting pics of, like I said, other things, you know? Um, but you can tell he's just browsing around on social media and stuff. So we don't know where they stand with each other currently, but we do know that they are obviously separated and not currently living in the same home. Okay. And also Cardi jumped on yet another artist track, which is fine. That's her. But you know, this artist name is Fendi the rapper or something like that. So yeah, I don't know what this alleged cheating has to do, but baby, it has sparked her to get up off that couch and stop running on social media and get her in that studio, okay? So, Barty Gang, it looks like y'all might be really getting a little some new music, okay? Because y'all know Sis has a point to prove to Offset, okay? Which is that she can be back on top. She can be that it girl. I guess she has the point to prove to remind him like, hey, I'm that bit. You doing all this and that, but you gonna realize that I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm that bit. Yeah, I slacked off. Yeah, I've been resting. Yeah, I had these two kids because when you have all these children and you married and stuff, nothing is wrong with you trying to live your life and enjoy your life being a mother, especially when your kids are that young and you want to you wanna see those milestones. You know what I'm saying? You want to, you don't want to miss those things. You got one daughter and one son. So yeah, it's, you know, that's how it is. But let me tell you something, baby, you got to keep that bag rolling, okay? Um... But like I said, you know, she has a point to prove to Offset. I feel like she's trying to show him like, hey, you playing around with me, but I'm going to show you what I am and what I can be and what you're missing out on, okay? And I can't be mad at about that. Y'all know I'm, new to, I'm not too fond of Cardi, but I ain't got no problems with Cardi, okay? Um, But my thing is seven years is entirely too long. Seven, almost eight years, that's a long time, especially with only one album, okay? Sis over there was over there bragging. People forgot who I am. I'm Cardi B. Sis, come on now. You bragging like you made multiple albums. You're not Janet Jackson, more like Freddie Jackson, okay? But I'm just saying, you know, you got the good look. Um, But I feel she is low-key afraid that the next album won't be as successful as the, for the first um, that's just my opinion, but you'll never know until you actually get out there and try Cardi, okay? But I low-key feel that she doesn't want to rap anymore anyway because, you know, the acting didn't do too great. I can't remember seeing a Cardi B video and be like, girl, did you see that Cardi B video, that Cardi B movie? Not video, movie. Girl, did you see that Cardi B movie, girl? Cardi B cut up in that movie, girl. I, I can't re ever remember watching anything that Cardi D B did as far as acting or anything. It'd be like, oh, she did that. 
And that's not to say she don't have potential. That's not to say that she can't do it because she can do whatever she can put her mind to if she want to do it. All right. But you got to put that Instagram down and stop random raving on social media and you got to get up and do it. Okay. You got more opportunities than a lot of people out here. So go ahead and take advantage of that. Okay. Um, and y'all know Cardi has worked with different artists and it, you know, it works for her when she's, when she's actually doing it. Okay. Uh, probably not now with all of her ranting and raving going on on social media, but she's worked with Bruno Mars, Maroon 5, Rita Ora, and many other big, big stars in different genres and all that. Okay. But her brand definitely went from Beverly Hills to Section 8, in my personal opinion. Okay. Because when per certain people see all of these ghetto shenanigans, they don't want to work with that or have that associated with what they have going on or their brands or their work okay and i don't see maru five reaching out for another song would that be good if they did yes it would be good because if it was a if it was a bop because i like that girls like you that song which she did with maroon five girl i love that song and i think she did really good when she did that song but you don't see maroon five and all of these people sitting up here reaching out because when she was on that wave when she got pregnant with culture what uh, let me tell you something children are a beautiful blessing but if you was gonna sit up there and get pregnant you should have waited and did you another album and then you should have had wave see what i'm saying because you would have had a whole nother album you could have sat down I don't even care if you do one every year. You have culture, sit down a year, you know, because you just success from that. Have another baby. I mean, sit down for a year, go back to working and doing your thing for another year too. And then you can get a rest for another year and just do your branding deals. But you got to make sure as an artist, you got to make sure that money coming in because you can't be sitting up here talking about something. I want a rich ninja to take care of me. No, baby, that, that that shouldn't even be in the mind frame. Yes, it would be nice. But at the end of the day, any woman that's being taken care of by a rich ninja at any time, that ninja can change his mind or move different. So you got to always have your own. And Cardi B does have her own now. Let's, let's not mistake that. Now, I ain't no hater. All right. I'm not too fond of her, but I'm not going to hate off of her. She got her own thing going on, but she can do better. She can do better. You got a lot of things going for yourself. Don't stop. You know, don't let your marriage get to your head, girl. If he ain't acting right, baby, go ahead and do that work. That's how, see, I'm a Capricorn. That's how we do, baby. Any little problem we got in life, baby, we ain't worried about that. That work, me working, oh, honey, that'll take my mind off of anything. Okay, we natural hustlers, go get us. So, you know, and, you know, working will always take your mind off of BS. Okay, when you making that bag, <laughs> you ain't got to worry about anything else. But anyway, y'all, y'all let me know where do you guys feel that cardi b and offset stand at this moment um do you guys think that they're going to get back together do you think that offset and cardi are officially done this time what do you think is to come next okay so you guys know that this is the uh talk of the town okay talk of the celebrity town the celebrity streets what have you you know whatever you want to call it all right so make sure you guys like comment and subscribe tell me what y'all think and i will see you guys in the next one peace